Uh, I'm going to show to you that dating apps and dating technology like this is inherently flawed. This is my new account. Her name is Sarah. I've given her just one picture. This is a nice picture I took in, uh, in Melbourne. And we're going to see what happens. I've just created this account just now. She has no description, no information. Already, I have 52 matches and I just created the account. Bear in mind that she has no description, no pictures of herself. The only thing we've put is the name Sarah. The fact that we, she is a female, that's all I have to do. Let's see how we do. Match. 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 There's another one. Match. 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 So as you can see, despite the fact that we have absolutely no pictures and uh, no description of who we are, we are getting tons of matches. I'm gonna blur out these pictures here, but many of these people, they are relatively attractive guys or normal guys. Now, not everybody is matching me, but I would say at least 70% are matching with me. Every single dating technology or dating app will end up just like this. We're already getting our first messages. So despite the fact we did absolutely nothing, we put zero effort into our profile, all we needed was the simple fact we just need a female name. That is all we needed to do. Bear in mind that I only had this running for about three and a half hours and we're just getting matches all day. Match. And, and bear in mind as well, these are not um, bad looking guys. The, these are decent looking guys, you know and these are not bad profiles. Perhaps the age that I've set here, 22, has something to do with it as well. Then as long as you're a woman in your 20s, no matter what your personality or what you look like, I'm gonna to have to count these, ma I can't even count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. That's 36 <laughs> matches in just a few hours. We're, and we still have more to come. We're, we're not even finished. We're getting more and more and more. So this was done in, um, in Valencia, in Spain. Some of you may have some kind of argument that perhaps it's a cultural thing. You know, maybe men in Spain are particularly thirsty. So maybe it's something about just the area. And I'll show you that it's exactly the same situation no matter where you go in the world. Here are some of the messages we have received. Remember, this account has no pictures, no description. Still, we have lots of messages. A lot of these guys are messaging me over and over again saying hello, hello, anyone there, hello, please respond, quite a lot of desperation. Now for the last few days I have placed myself in a new location. We have travelled to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. If you don't know where that is in the world, let me zoom out for you, it's down here. Not exactly a western country. All the same, let's see how we do in Kuala Lumpur. It's been a few days now, I've been left, left leaving it there. Match. 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 Oh, we didn't get a match that time. Another match. Now, I have a feeling this is going to continue on like this for quite some time. As you can see, this, it doesn't matter where in the world that you are. It's not a cultural thing. It is simply biology, male and female biology interacting with the technology. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. All that happens is biology interacts with the technology and you get the same result everywhere in the world. Wherever you go, they have the same problem in that there's lots of men on the platform and there's not that many women. If this is how many I'm getting without even having a picture, just imagine what a, a, like a pretty girl would get. You would be talking matches in the 500, 600, 1000. Obviously, um, if you are at the company of Tinder, which is owned by Match Group, 
you have access to the data and you know they are very aware that there are far more men interacting with the platform than women of course they would never make this data public because it would cause people to question whether they should actually be using these apps or not and you should not rate your desirability based on your performance on the app because it's not accurate there we go we have a message coming through straight away so you should not base your base your uh, self-worth on how well you do on dating apps because they are inherently flawed 